okay, profane let's, kind of. Let's go to the second okay. question that I have. <clears throat> so now, now, now that we've established that not well, in my mind, it's and grassroots. I, yeah. Now you that I say grassroots. Now that I've uh, described why I don't believe that everyone who keeps Torah and believes that Yeshua is the Messiah is Hebrew roots. Now let's try to look at a little bit, if possible, if we can, which maybe we can't. But let's try to look a little bit at what we think is the Hebrew roots. And so the two questions that I have asked the, the, on, on this front is, and the first one that I have to look at is this, who are the main teachers? When we look at the Hebrew roots, and this is something that Gary brought up earlier, okay? He said, Gary earlier in the chat room said, Tony Robinson of uh, Restoration of Torah, Daniel Botkin of Gates of Eden, and Rico Cortez of Wisdom in Torah are all teachers in the Hebrew roots who I am sure have a decent grasp of Hebrew. I don't know if I would say decent grasp of Hebrew, Hebrew, but possibly. Um, I'm not trying to put those guys down. I'm just, I, I don't know that for sure. Yeah, I don't know any of those guys, so I don't know. Um, but this is a, this is a great point. In other words, who are, who are the, who, when we, when I think of the Hebrew roots movement and I think of teachers within the, the Hebrew roots movement, who do I think of? Now, a lot of people will say, th- you know, I think Rico T- Cortez would be one of them. I think that, obviously, I think Daniel Botkin is, is a good one. I, in terms of a uh, person that people look to as, as a leader in the Hebrew roots movement, uh, unfortunately, and a lot of people are going to balk yeah, but at this. If you ask these guys, would they consider themselves Hebrew roots? Yes, I think they would because they're part of the Hebrew roots network. Oh, okay. Well, there you go then. Okay. Um, you have Michael Rood. You have Monty Judah. And do these guys are part of a network with each other? Like they, they schmooze? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody put in uh, new to Torah, Zach Bauer. I don't think that Zach is a, is a teacher. I, I mean, I'm not trying to put Zach down. D- Dina, uh, Dina Die, right? Somebody else said 119 Ministries, right? Okay. Um, so, so these are, these are the, uh, <laughs> these are the people that I would consider to be in the Hebrew Roots ministry. Jim Staley was one of them before he went to prison, right? So I think the, he still is teaching. Oh, he is. He's still teaching. Yeah. Um, so he's probably still Hebrew. Brad Scott. Scott is another one, right? Okay. So the so now we've we've established all of these who the leaders are. Who, well, the thought leaders. Who, these who, are the yeah. Who a lot of these thought leaders are. There are multiple things that kind of connect a lot of these people, and that is, uh, well, are any of them are any of them strong on deity of Yeshua? Any of those? I I personally don't know. So I think I'm, I'm just. I think uh, yes. I think there are some. Okay. Not all. Not all, but there are some. Okay. Um. So there are certain things that that define a lot of these teachers. A lot of the people that were mentioned by our chat room uh, have zero training, and that's not necessarily something that needs to. I mean, I'm not saying that that's a. You know, uh, Spurgeon didn't have any training, so I'm not. But uh, these are the kind of things that might run in. Right. A in, footnote in, there: we did have, we did get feedback saying, "Why do you? Th- where do you think that in order to be a a good pastor, you need to be fluent in Hebrew?" You know, and no, we didn't say that. We never said that. Right. But I think Caleb and I would both probably agree. Maybe Caleb would have a different view. I agree with the core. Uh, what the reformers basically clarified is that without leadership at some point anchored in the original languages, you're going to have trouble. And today it's that thing. So there could be a Hebrew roots group, but they've just outsourced the translation to NASB or to ESV. You know what I mean? They just outsourced the translation or to one of these new, you know, (laughs) There's a bunch of new, like, messianic-flavored translations. Right. And even the producers of those Bibles, I would question, you know, some of the – I want to know, you know, who did the translation and, and whatnot. Okay, let's go back, um, to, let's go back sorry, to it real but, quick because there's, there's still, you know, there's still a couple of things that are predominant within the teachers that were, that were mentioned. Two-house theology is probably one of the big ones. In other words, almost all of the people that were mentioned that are leaders – or seen as teachers and or leaders within the Hebrew roots movement 
believe in two house theology. Now, for a Christian, for a for a a mainstream Sunday uh, Christian, uh, these things are going they're going to say, well, I don't you know I don't understand. Do you keep Torah? Yeah, you're part of the Hebrew roots movement. But for those who have a you know who who have been in uh, trying to keep Torah, have wrestled with some of these texts and whatnot. A lot of these are big issues. Deity of Messiah is a big one. I don't think that people realize that probably uh, at least a third of the people that were mentioned uh, waver in some way on the deity of the Messiah or or highly associate with people who do. Um, so, but obviously, Two House Theology is one of them. Hebrew word picture uh, translation would be another one of them. At the at. Bible at, kind of thing. At, at, yeah, the at whole or the sacred thing. name kind of Bibles. Wavering on uh, on the number of books within the canon. Yeah, these are the things that I associate with Hebrew roots. So, admittedly, then I have my own d- due to lack of a clear brand, right? Lack of a clear institution. Here are the main teachers. Here's the statement of faith. Because there's a lack of that, I just have to. I'm just cobbling together my own experience and then kind of sketching out a picture. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and check out more videos from Messiah Matters. Messiah Matters.